Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now guys, the last episode we ended on a bit of a fail, but you know what? I have something else epic to do in today's episode, my friends. A little bit of a sub-project that I want to try and get done in today's episode is... I want to make a floating island into a mushroom biome, okay? We're going to have ourselves a floating mushroom biome, okay? It is going to be a pretty darn cool thing to do. And obviously by doing that, we'll be able to have the chopper NPC spawn in. And because we have defeated Plantera, we can indeed make our way up to having Shroomite armor, which should hopefully assist us in the pursuit of taking down Gollum. Because it, it, it was a bit of a butt. He took us out of the game real quick. So, uh, yeah, although to be honest, I wasn't really prepared, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not entirely fussed about the fact that I did die to that. But anyways, guys, I digress. We need to go ahead and get ourselves a mushroom biome. Do we have one close by? That is the question. There's one down here. Uh, is there any more that are, like, slightly closer? It doesn't look like it, does it? I'm looking around, looking around. Uh... Nah, not really. Alright, so we've got this. This is like a double mushroom biome, isn't it? Yeah, you've got the mushroom biome there, and then it sort of stops, and then it goes back into a mushroom biome. What we could potentially do is convert this little underground house that's already here into a little house to uh, to have the dryad spawn in. That was a squeak, I apologise. Then we can get some mushroom seeds, and then we can go from there, right? So, uh, furniture. Let's grab ourselves out. A hmm, what should we have? Sawmill, crafting table. Let's have a let's have a workbench here. We'll have a furnace. Let's let, we'll give her a chest as well, a little shadow chest, and then maybe something else. You need some form of chair. I mean, the bed would count, but uh, we need something else. Can we just have a chair. I mean, I don't see a reason why not, right? So, eh, there we go, chair. Fantastic. And then we also need some torches. Do we do we have torches? Yeah, we've got a load of torches. Okay, and then we can convert them all into ice torches as well. Very fine. There we go. Let's grab all these. Haha. -ha. Nice one. All right, lizard power cells. You can go in the hard mode stuff's chest. There you go. All right, so what's the easiest way to get into the mushroom biome? Probably from here. Steampunker has arrived. Ooh. Steampunker. Hmm. Does she sell anything good? She sells a jetpack. Who is it that sells the leaf wings? Aren't leaf wings better than the frozen wings? You know, I'm pretty convinced that it's this guy here. Is, are, are you the person who sells leaf wings? No. Hmm. Who sells leaf wings? Is it actually the steampunker? I have no idea. Or is it the witch doctor? No, maybe the witch doctor. I have no idea if I'm entirely honest with you guys, but someone definitely sells leaf wings. I can't remember who does, but uh, yeah. What we're going to do, guys, is we are very simply going to head down into the underground mushroom biome. We're going to convert that little house into a usable house. We're going to put the dry down there. See about getting ourselves some mushroom seeds. And then we shall go from there, folks. Should be a pretty easy thing to do. Should be able to do it on camera with you guys as well. What we've got to do is head down here. There we go. Or oh, you can see the map updating around me. Like the, the halo has spread a lot, huh? Ah! Don't you dare. Don't you do it there, broski. Uh, here we go. Oh, you got the giant dudes now. Hello. Hi, I'm gonna try bolt all of you. Boom! Try bolt, try arrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shot bow you. So yeah, get killed and stuff. Right, so let's head down here. There we go. There's one of the houses. We are now approaching the first of the two mushroom biomes. Right, so there's one of them. Oh, I was wanting to farm out slimes, wasn't I? Well, there's a slime statue. Holy crap! How the hell did I not notice that before? And or why did I not pick that up? You know. That's kind of strange, if you ask me. Right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, we've got two statues in here. That's kind of nice. All right, boom. You can go there. You can go here. I'm, I don't even know why I'm putting down a furnace, but I'm doing so because I can. Wait. What the hell? I just uprooted itself. Hey, buddy. Get, get placed back down, broski. All right, there you go. All right. Now then, let's get ourselves a door. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That should just about do, right? Let's get ourselves a couple of torches down. Just, uh, there we go. Get that thing going. And I think what I also need to do is quickly finish off the background walls. So let's grab all of these, uh, mushrooms. We need to start farming these things out anyway. So we need to, uh, you know, pick up as many as we can. There is a heart crystal down there, but I don't think... I don't, I, I, I don't really need it. So, yeah, I'm not too fussed. Oh, hey, there we go. Mushroom grass seeds already. fan fantastic Brilliant. All right. Uh, a little bit more down here. Not really. Well, let's go ahead and grab some more from over here. 
they're all over the place really so I'm just going to try and grab as many as I possibly can uh, there we go a little bit there uh, we'll go up to this mushroom biome as well just to grab ourselves a little bit more uh, nope none in there I mean, we've got plenty of little mushroom trees around which is kind of nice there we go some platinum over there as well which is very fine there we go thank you very much Terraria you're making this uh, a pretty darn good start huh. nice one all right and then there's one over here some more seeds brilliant that is that is a pressure plate do you know what that pressure plate was probably linked up to this thing the slime statue so i probably derped up there just a little bit folks so i apologize aha aha get wrecked there we go hey who is shooting at me you, you dare shoot at me you silly little archer idiot well, get out of here bro ha get wrecked there we go I mean, those guys can drop the marrow, right? I don't think I've... I haven't got the marrow in this Let's Play so far. Right, Mushroom Wall. Let's finish this bad boy off. I have no idea how much more we actually need to do. Uh, will this count as a place to go? Uh, Dryad? Where are you, buddy? There we go. Aha! Oh, what? That's awesome! Guys, check it out! The little NPC banners that, which show you where they live. They've been updated in 1.3.5. That's awesome, guys. Right, now then, it is nighttime, technically speaking, so if I just walk away from this place, the dryad should spawn in. There you go, you can just see her. She just TP down there. Fantastic, and she's giving me a buff. Brilliant. All right, so, mushroom grass seeds, let's buy ourselves uh, two stacks. Eh, why not? All right, what else have we got? Uh, sunflowers, I might buy some of these just so we can get some buffs going. Purification powder, do not need them. Pumpkin seeds, I will need them eventually. I'm I might as well go and... Uh, start growing them now because you know there's a uh, it's just is it just the one ranger weapon you can get from the pumpkin moon i can't remember it is the uh, candy corn rifle of course i'm trying to remember if there's any other ones i can get uh jack-o-lantern launcher i've just remembered that one you can get that that's kind of nice uh right but uh, anyways uh how many blue mushrooms do we actually have blue mushrooms the quick stack then is 75 okay very nice that's very nice indeed in fact Alright, slime statue, you can go in here, there we go. Alright, so all we need to do now is grab out a whole bunch of mud. Uh, yep, that'll do very nicely. And yeah, we're going to head up to the island. Can we, like, I don't know if I'll be able to just flat out fly up there, so I'm just going to grab out one of uh, one of these things. There you go. Grab potion. It might be a cool idea if I go ahead and make a TP, like a, a teleportation thing. It's not that far away, so I can't imagine it being terribly expensive. Uh, yeah, okay, so jetpack, contaminator, static hook. Ooh, very nice. All right, so there we go. Got a couple of them. Green solution. Oh, man, contaminator is always a good thing to buy, but I need to save up the platinum for the auto hammer and maybe the leaf wings as well. Do you know what? I think the leaf wings are sold by the witch doctor, but he has to be in the jungle biome, yes? I'm pretty convinced that's how it goes. So maybe what I do is I convert another little underground house, like this one here, and then try and get them to spawn there. Uh, you, know what? you know what? I'm going to quickly do that off camera. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, move the guy over there. Let's see if we can buy the leaf rings, okay? Aha! There we go, folks. A very simple addition of the torches, the uh, other stuff as well. And there we go. The witch doctor can now move in. Now, I've done a little bit of research since the last cut, and it actually turns out the leaf wings are slightly worse than the frozen wings. They have the same height, I do believe, but uh, they do... Well, actually, no, they've got the same flight time. I'm looking at the wiki right now. They've got the same flight time, but there's not as much acceleration or speed bonus as the frozen wings have. So, yeah, basically, they're slower. So, yeah, that's a thing. But, uh, yeah, there we go. You've got a bunch of stuff going on here now. Imbuing station. Oh, blowgun. Oh, I forgot about this. We can maybe get some darts going. Ooh. Should we, should, we, should we try it out? Someone's a tiki spirit. Two platinum. Are you joking, man? You'd have to be a complete moron to get that. Holy crap. That's expensive as hell. Although it is a pet, so maybe if you wanted to do a completionist playthrough, then yeah, I guess that would make sense. But uh, yeah, lazy blowgun. Let's get us up something slightly better, huh? All right, so here we go. Uh, one gold. Uh, very fine. All right, can we get like unreal? I mean, we've got a lot of money. Unpleasant speed and damage would be amazing. So awful superior is quite nice uh, let's, let's go with superior. I don't see a reason why not and uh, yeah, these vials of venom Is there a way of converting them into darts? That's something I can do uh, Arrow flask of venom. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Hmm make venom arrows venom bullets as well 
Oh. Right, now then. Uh, so what can I do with darts? Can I like... Oh, do you know what? I think I know what I can do with them. I can convert the I-Core into I-Core darts. Yes. Uh, what? How many types of darts are there? I have no idea. There we go, but yeah, there it is. I call darts. You don't even need anything. You can just make them straight off the rip, apparently. Uh, yeah, there they are. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of them, and... Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, what? They split! Oh, that's amazing! That's awesome! It shoots out one, and then it splits off into three or four. Dude, that is so cool! I did not know that! Oh, mate, we're going to have to try and use that for a bit. See what kind of things we can do. See what kind of damage we can do. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of awesome, though, folks. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Sweet. So if you ever wanted a, a different weapon to use in hard mode, then uh, there you go, folks. You got yourself the, the blowgun. Very nice. Very nice indeed, in fact. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do the whole TP thing. So where's the mechanic real quick? Hey, buddy. So let's grab ourselves a red wrench. The wire cutter, and obviously we're going to need ourselves a bunch of wire. Uh, 250? Joe, oh, I have no idea how much I'm going to need. Uh, let's go for 500. 500 seems like a solid um, the number, yeah? Uh, junction box? <laughs> Don't need it. Alright, so, uh, we need to uh, place down our first TP, so let's go and put it, like, maybe I'll just... Yeah, I'm going to make a platform up here, because we don't really have any... You know, I'm placing the wrong kind of platforms. I want to use proper ice platforms, guys. Is that something you can do now? There we go. Fantastic. All right, so uh, get placed, get placed, get placed. Uh, this one can go in the bin, and then we can place this bad boy down. Fantastic. Uh, ah, it's it's not high enough, is it? Gosh darn it. I am so newbie. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, so that goes there, and then, and then that goes on there like that, and then we need pressure plates. Okay, fine and dandy. We good, we good, okay, we good. Uh, something which only the player can step on. Uh, activate only when a player steps on it. That's the one I want. Activate some stepped on. Activate when a player steps on it. Okay. All right, that'll do, right? Okay, sweet. All right, let's get the stuff wired up, folks. Let's make ourselves a TP potion. Not TP potion, a TP system. Let's get it done, folks. Alrighty, guys. All we got to do is connect these two wires up, and then we'll be... Oh, hang on. Ah, I wanted to go on like a right angle. Come on, come on. OCD is kicking in. All right, here we go. Just quickly do this thing. Uh, that should do it. Ah, there we go. Fantastic. All right, so we should now have a functioning teleport system. All right, let's have a look real quick. Seeds, get the hell out of it. Wait, are these a material? No, they're not. Gosh darn it. All right, so let's give this thing a quick whirl. If I step on this thing, it will send me up to the Sky Island, yes? Aha! Yay! We did it! Hey, Mr. Fisher dude, you're in the wrong place there, brother man. <laughs> Alright, so, oh gosh darn it, I freaking quick stacked away my uh, mud, didn't I? Well, good thing we got a TP now! Hey, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy about that. Right, I'm gonna go and put the blowpipe on. I wanna give it a go. A blowpipe, blow gun. Oh, it's a blow gun. Ah, okay. Fine, fine and dandy, that's fine and dandy. Right, so, what we got to do now, folks, is we need to make ourselves a, 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 a thing. A blueberries? I don't want that crap. I want myself a, a surface mushroom biome on a sky island, man. Because I don't think I've ever done that before, <laughs> thinking about it. So, yeah, this should be uh, this should be pretty darn cool. Alright, let's get ourselves on with this thing, folks. We're doing the form of progress updates. So, yeah, let's get on with it. I'll bring you guys back in a mo. Alrighty guys, and there we go! I have just about got the island shaped up and ready to have a bunch of seeds planted upon it. As you can see, I've tried to go for a little bit more of an organic design. Obviously, I want to have a bunch of rows of mushrooms growing. So, you know, as well as having the mushroom trees naturally occurring on top, I want to have some growing sort of on the bottom there. So, yeah, as you can see, everything has been replaced with mud though. So, yeah, we can now actually start going ahead, getting some of these seeds planted in. And uh, we should be good to go as a result. This should effectively transform into an official mushroom biome. Hopefully very shortly, folks. So, all I need to do is I need to plant down all of these seeds. Uh, I would space them out, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm really wanting to wait, I guess, for these to grow or spread. So, yeah, I'm just going in and planting them all. And we'll probably need to go back to the dryad and buy myself a whole bunch more seeds. Maybe a couple more stacks or so. But uh, yeah, that should uh, yeah that should do it. We should have the truffle move in at some point soon, folks. No idea where he's going to spawn or whether there's even space for him to spawn. 
Uh, how's it looking? Uh, there's a space up there, there's space down there. Yeah, there should be space from the spawn, basically. Should be totally fine and dandy. So, yeah. Let me go ahead. Let's plant down all of these seeds. Let's transform this place into an official mushroom biome. And then we'll move on, guys. We'll do something else. Alright, guys. And there we go. The entire island has been transformed into a mushroom biome island. This is freaking awesome, guys. So what I'm hoping will happen is that the chopper will spawn in when it becomes daytime because i'm still hearing the space music i don't know whether that means the space biome takes over the mushroom biome i'm hoping that won't be the case of course because if that is the case then we could be in a bit of trouble here. we may have to go ahead and uh, you know move the mushroom biome somewhere else i mean we'll probably keep this island just for farming purposes but uh, you know what i'm saying it would just be a little bit annoying if we uh, if we couldn't work with this so yeah but, uh, yeah, obviously the reason I wanted the slime statue is for, you know, ammo for my flamethrower. Because it is a good weapon, believe it or not. It really, really is. Like, 39 range damage. Very fine. So, 12 glowing mushrooms. I do believe that, uh, if I remember correctly, we need something like 800 or something ridiculous like that. Hey, look at that. One just grew straight off the rip. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, let's head back to base. Because what we need to do now is we need to start farming out for some more chlorophyte, I do believe. Or do we? Uh, 224. Now, as far as I remember, we're going to need ourselves a decent amount, actually. So, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, like, 500 or something like that. I think that would be a pretty good number to go for, maybe. Uh, let's go and, uh, in fact, this can go in the trap stuff's chest. So, there you go. All this stuff is, like, wiring slash trap stuff. Uh, ammunition, you can go in there. Uh, cloud walls, you can go in there. Chlorophyte's very nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can't quick stack a bunch more of the stuff. Uh, seeds and plants, you can go in there along with you. Pumpkin seeds, you are a seed, so yeah, I'll put you away as well. You can go away as well. Let's put these back in the hot bar. And yeah, we're going to head down into the underground jungle. Yes, underground jungle. Let's get some more chlorophyte, folks. If we find something cool while we are going ahead and doing all that stuff, then I will, of course, bring you guys back. Whoa. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. In terms of ranged weapons from Plantera, what can we get? The Venus Magnum. What else can you get? Is that just about it? I'm just trying to think. I think that might actually be it. It's the Venus Magnum, isn't it? I may be forgetting something out. It's very possible. I don't know. Well, hmm. Eh. Oh, well. Let's just do the Clawify hunting, guys. Let's see what we can get. Aha! Check it out, guys! We have managed to find something cool. Staff of Regrowth. Fantastic! That is actually brilliant! I was looking for that, actually. It was on the back of my mind, like, for the longest time. I really did want to find one for my, uh, for my, you know, crop farms and all that kind of stuff. My potion ingredient farm. So, yeah, I'm actually really, really hyped about the fact we managed to get that. Because it means we're going to get uh, uh, quite quite an increased yield in terms of our potion ingredients. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Heck yeah, boys. <laughs> so, while we're back, I can tell you some of my plans, okay? Now, one of my plans is to... Well, I just want to try and get as much chlorophyte as I possibly can. Obviously, I do believe the amount we need is like 354 for a full set of armor. But, on top of that, we can also go ahead and make ourselves the Shroomite Digging Claws. And maybe some other stuff as well. And I think that all of that stuff would go pretty nicely with the eventual set of armor that we're going to wind up getting. Oh, man. Look at the amount of chlorophyte here, man. There's loads. There's even more to the left-hand side of me as well. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Uh, we've got about 15 seconds of uh, Spelunker Potion left. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see how much we can get here. We'll go ahead and uh, get this vein over here. And I think that may be the last vein to get. Uh, I think so anyway. Yeah, I think it might be. Alright, well, we're going to grab this. We're going to head back to base and then we're going to see about getting the truffle to spawn in. I haven't seen the message to say that the truffle has spawned in yet, unfortunately. Let's just have a look. Yeah, no truffle. Huh. Interesting. I wonder. I really, really hope that place is, like, officially classed as a mushroom biome. Because if not, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit heartbroken, man. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's just go ahead and kill all these guys. If there's any of them left, that is. Uh, huh. Huh? We're okay. We okay now, folks. We okay. Unfortunately, no sign of any life fruits, which is a bit concerning, but oh well. It doesn't matter. Here we are back at base. So, here we go, guys. We've got ourselves a whole bunch of awesome stuff. Stuff of regrowth, very fine. Very fine indeed. Let me go and put that in here. 
So, yep, there we go. Increase yield is very nice. So, let's put you in there. Uh, Spelunker potions, you can go in there. We've got another statue for our collection here. So, 300, no, 482 chlorophyte ore is going to make ourselves dot, 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 80 bars. Very nice. That's a nice amount, isn't it? Holy crap. <laughs> That's more than enough to make a whole bunch of armor, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that, guys. To the very least. So, uh, hmm. yeah, we just need to we need to get the trouble to spawn in. Is it a simple case of, like, they won't spawn in? Because, yeah, I don't think I've got enough bases left, you know. Party girl belongs up there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't see any spaces for people. Right, I may have to make myself some more houses then, guys. We may have to expand to the left and right just a little bit. Right, okay. I mean, you know, no worries. I could do that right now. So, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to make a few more houses. Probably two more either side. And then we'll see about getting some more NPC spawning, huh? Alright, let's get it done, folks. Alright, guys. So, we've got four new houses set up. I just need to go ahead and insert all of the furniture. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an assortment of candles and lamps and all this other stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Seems like a good amount. Frozen dresser. Uh, frozen door, obviously. Yep, let's have a couple of them. Uh, frozen bathtub. Frozen workbench. Maybe a couple of those. And uh, a couple of tables as well. And that should just about do it. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and start placing these bad boys in. We'll have one there. Uh, we'll have a chair, obviously. We will have... A little bit of that going in there. Okay, this one can have a proper table. Okay, uh, a little bit of this. This one can have a candle on top of it. Uh, let's have ourselves one of these and then a couple of these. All right, looking good. So that, those two sides are done. Uh, actually, no, hang on. Door. There we go. Ha! Now it's done. All right, so now we've got to do the left-hand side. So here we go. Maybe we'll put the workbench on top here. Uh, so another chair. Okay, fantastic. Can I put the table under here? Yeah, good stuff. Okay, and then chair can also go there. Fantastic. All right, so we can put that down there. Let's get these things in here placed in. A little bit of that. And then we've got a candelabra. That can go down here. Uh, a couple candles. We can put one over there. Uh, we need to put the one of these down as well. Boom, that can go there. We've got the safe. Uh, hmm, okay. Right, let's go place the other candle in just over here somewhere. Boom. Right, that should be four new houses. Suitable. Suitable. Fantastic. Uh, this one is suitable. I think someone died in there. <laughs> someone died in this house. That's a bit morbid, isn't it? Jeez, man. All right, and then, yeah, there we go. All right, guys, so we've got four new NPC houses, which are available for my NPCs in about 20 or so seconds. They should all start spawning in, hopefully including the truffle. Obviously, when the truffle spawns in, I want them to be moving into the proper place. So let's go ahead and uh, let's quickly move this guy down into here. Let's go ahead and uh, just move away. There we go. He's spawned in. So now, hopefully, what should happen is the truffle should wind up spawning in the correct place. So, I mean, all I've got to do now pretty much is just wait, I guess. So, yeah, I mean, that's all I can do, really. i just got to wait for the guy to spawn in. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're just going to have to AFK for a bit, I guess. Let's go and put this banner away. In fact, we could maybe start placing down some of these banners. Why not? All right, let's do that while we're waiting. Alrighty, so that's the nurse just arrived. That's the traveling merchant just arrived. <gasps> oh my god! Guys, no way! Five platinum coins plus 45 got dudes. The companion QB selling it. Holy crap. This is probably one of the best traveling merchants I've had in a long time. Willy. No, dude, this is awesome. Pulse bow. We're going to buy that straight off the rip. There we go. 91 range damage. If we get ourselves a good reforge, that's going to be well over 100, guys. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. Okay. Right. Now then. Uh, oh, man. We need ourselves five platinum coins. Is there even a remote chance that we could scrounge up the money to get that? I have no idea, honestly, guys. Oh, no, man. That sucks. Got a bunch of silver ore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Can we, like... Can we, like, summon any of these guys? We oh, that's right. Queen Bee is a good way of uh, getting money, isn't it? All right, let's go and farm out Queen Bee. We've got the entire Terrarian day to do this thing in, my friends. 
Hopefully, we can get ourselves a whole crap ton of gold out of taking down Queen Bee a whole bunch of times, okay? So, let's go ahead. Let's farm her out real quick. Shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, the cyborg has arrived. Very nice. Huh. All right, everybody's arriving, and this is brilliant. We've got so many NPCs now, my friends. It's actually kind of amazing. Huh. All right, let's get to the jungle bar, and we're about to farm this gal out real quick. Alright guys, final Queen Bee to farm out. This will be the eighth one. And not only will we have a whole bunch of treasure bags to open, but you know, we're gonna get a heck ton of money from this. So there we go. Very nice. The truffle has just spawned in, guys. Oh my lord, we got a lot of things going on at once. Alright, here we go. 27 gold. Holy! Alright, here we go. So to try and keep them on me, I'm gonna go ahead and just sell everything, okay? Beekeeper, one gold, all of this stuff. I'm just literally gonna sell everything. The bee nodes are probably obsolete now. Don't even need them. Chuck you away, chuck you away, chuck you away. Treasure bag, another 28 gold. Sell everything. Oh my goodness, guys. This co <gasps> Ooh, honeyed goggles. Very nice. Hey, man, I'm gonna keep that. Alright, bees knees. What about this one? More honeyed goggles. We don't need that many, though. Uh, don't need it. And, of course, all this stuff as well. All right, how much platinum? Two. We've got two platinum coins. Bringing us up to four. Four platinum coins is now the amount we have, guys. Can we go ahead and scrounge it up somehow? Souls of Might, probably don't need them. Souls of Sight, we don't need those anymore. And we probably don't even need the Souls of Fright either. I mean, we could just go and farm them out again, right? Right? We could just farm them out again? Souls of Fright. Actually, no. I'm not going to sell the Souls of Fright because we need those for the summoner that is the uh, naughty present. Souls of Sight, though. I could definitely go ahead and sell those. Uh, Soul of Might. Don't need that for now, anyway. So, okay. What's it looking like now? 52. We need to scrounge up another half a platinum. We've got ourselves a bunch of diamonds. Might be worth going and selling these uh, hard mode ores. Uh, chlorophyte, titanium. We don't need titanium or anything like that, really. We'll sell the chlorophyte as well. That probably still isn't going to be enough, though. So is there even a remote chance? Oh, there's a bunch of duplicate things in here. We could probably go and sell a bunch of this stuff here. Woohoo! We are properly scrounging for money now, folks. Properly scrounging. All right, folks. Let's see what kind of money we can get out of this lot. Oh, dang it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to sell them. I should have put them away, shouldn't I? All right, all of this stuff. Every single bit. Uh, all of that. There we go. And all of that. Let's put that in there. How much do we have now? 42 gold. Come on! We're so close to being able to buy the companion cube for the very first time in my entire time playing Terraria. This would be awesome. Silver bars. How much can we get for silver bars? We don't need that much. Five gold. All right. How many? How much now? Yes! Guys! For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, Willy the Traveling Merchant is going to sell me the companion cube. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. We've got the freaking companion cube. Let's go, man. Right. The, the, oh, the, traf the truffle even spawned in the correct place. That's amazing, man. Holy crap, guys. This is quite the haul. <laughs> oh, absolutely amazing. But now we need to try and scrounge up another platinum coin in order to buy the truffle. Uh, the auto hammer, sorry. So... Yes, we're going to have to do that in a future episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is going to be time to end this episode here. We have had a hell of a good episode, guys. Hell of a good episode in terms of luck. Very, very happy with the amount of stuff we managed to get today. Pulse bow. We got ourselves the companion cube for the very first time in my entire time playing Terraria. And uh, yeah, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good. I can't believe I've got a companion cube, guys. <laughs> that is really, really awesome. Thank you, Traveling Merchant. You are by far and away the best Traveling Merchant I've ever had. So, absolutely brilliant. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to drop a like rating, of course. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content, my friends. And uh, yeah, that'll wrap it up. Join me again for another episode, my friends. But for now, it's time for me to head off. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.